Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Lakeland Vale Let's Play series with me, See Wally here in Farming Simulator 19. Uh, Dolores has just had a bit of a stroll around the farm, just to have a look at things. It's a new day. Um, I've got two contracts currently active for harvesting, which I'm going to jump on and do. However, I do notice something a bit weird. I did notice something a bit weird today. Um, I fertilised all my fields last night. After I'd done the free fertilising contracts, I'd fertilised the fields using the Case Patriot. And there's a bit of an issue with two of my fields over here. Um, fields one and two. If you remember, when I was planting those, weeds appeared. And I removed the weeds using the mechanical weeder. For some weird reason, where I remove the weeds with the mechanical weeder, the fertilizer, the second coat of fertilizer that I sprayed on the field hasn't been accepted. It's not fertilized all my field. So I've got to wait for the crop to grow basically now. I need to wait for the crop to grow. And then um, I'm going to have to spray it again. I'm going to have to spray the field again. Now, before returning the case Patriot, I did remember to empty it, unload it. Um, so I have got 3,500 litres of liquid fertilizer sat over here I can't put it into the storage tank because when I came, brought the um, pallets over here and dangled them in front of the uh, tank here they wouldn't fill they won't, the tanks won't empty into the uh, into the thing so I'm kind of stuck basically but anyway this is what we need today The um, case harvester. I'm going to do soybeans first on field 10. I've got a contract on field 10 for soybeans. And then I've got a contract for oats on field 6. The barley harvest on field 17 has been done by the farmer as I slept through the night. So lost out on that one. That would have been a nice contract, of course, because obviously field 17, quite big. That was going to pay good money as well. I think that was paying about 26 grand. And then, obviously, the potential for bonus crop and um, straw <laughs> would have been really nice. Really, really nice. Set this up. So, 290, 270. And to pull that down a bit, and you want to rotate that. It's not like because I can't do the little fancy degree symbols like this to help you. Can. should now be saved uh, that saved it better 12.98 meters from tool yeah we're gonna go up and down Field with this. To start with. We 
get the case magnum. One thing I'm going to try as well with this fella. Um, have a look at this. We may use some of this stuff. We may use the intelligent helper if he is intelligent. <laughs> he might not be. Okay, so smart intelligent helper is working this time. Good, because what I need to do now, I need to get the auger wagon. Ready to put the beans into. And then I'm gonna need the, the truck. down here catch up with Mr Harvester I don't know how much um, stuff he's actually got from that row. Um, we'll find out once he's unloaded. 8,000 litres. So he will actually be able to get up and down the field. For a minute there, I thought he was doing the circle of death. <laughs> That's a common thing that these harvesters um, tend to do. So a lot of these AI mods. Course play tends to do it a lot as well. Where it, the vehicle turns too tight on itself and then it gets confused. It's very confused. So yeah, I'm a bit surprised by the whole... Um, lack of fertilizing or the fact that my fertilizing didn't fertilize all my animals are doing okay fertilizing contract for field 18 unfortunately I returned the case I can't do that field 9 has got canola we might I might come back and do that I might come back and do the canola harvest as well that's what field next to this one between me and field six <laughs> but i'm obviously still busy trying to record plenty of episodes i've been playing for four hours now today and i've in that four hours i've recorded this i think this is the third video i'm recording so do the math 
if each video is about half an hour for a, an hour and a half of video I've had to play for over four hours that's why I'm kind of running out of videos on YouTube because I can't physically play enough <laughs> to create content at the minute right I'm gonna have a run back because I'm gonna need me me truck because we're going to need to empty the soybeans into the truck. We're also going to need the oats. And of course the truck is down at the horses in the most inconvenient place. Um, so I'm going to have a run down there to that. The horses are going very well, by the way. I think they're worth about... What did, what did I... What are they worth about in the minute? Is it about 17,000 bucks? If I was to sell them now after only a couple of days, I've already made a significant profit of about 16,000 on each horse. Have a look. 12,000, sorry. So I've made 11,000. I've made 11,000 on each horse currently. And I've got 16 horses, so... You know, you can do the math on that. <laughs> you can do the math on that one and work that one out. Can't you? What interested me as well, just, I've been on the multiplayer server the other evening. I noticed on a on the Renault trucks that we're using the saddle on the back of the truck there where the um, trailer connects you can actually slide that forward and back so um, different trailers so you've got you sometimes you can connect up to a trailer and have it right on the back of the truck to give yourself plenty of room Because um, on with the one of, one of the trailers that I use on the multiplayer server, one of the truck trailers in one configuration, it's got a load of, a bit like this one here actually. It's got a load of stuff on the front end. So when you like attach it, it's really close to the back of the truck, and I, and sometimes when you're turning, I think the trailer actually hits the truck. And then I've, I discovered, um, like I say, on the the other night, that you can actually slide that saddle back, which means actually you can put some space between the um, the truck and the trailer to give you that room, so you can make nice big, you know, sharp. You can make quite sharp turns because otherwise, what I was finding was I could only make tiny. I could only turn slightly without risking the um without risking the um the trailer smacking into the truck and if you do that at speed it causes quite an accident <laughs> Mr. Intelligent Helper is probably going to miss the crop at this point. What I shall doodle do. Is he going to continue to do his, do his usual? Dude, I didn't ask you to work that way. <laughs> I 
don't like this guy. This this mod is not. I don't think find it very intuitive as to what it's doing half the time. It makes no sense as to why that guy would suddenly decide to harvest in that direction. I really don't. That to me just makes no 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 logic in that. Anyway, now he's working. Now he's going to drive up the field where he's supposed to be going. Like I say, when we come to do the um, the oak contract, I'm going to have a quick look on some of this. We've got the Tetron for doing potatoes. I've yet to see a potato contract appear. Another thing we're going to look at, possibly, is um, total mixed ration storage TMR. Either getting myself a mixer of my own. One of these type dealies or um, doing the cows I mean that's only going to take two bales that's no good to me whatsoever that one the other option obviously is that which again only takes about two bales A bit of a concern to me. I do. I my bales at eight thousand liter capacity. So uh, to get all the um to get two bales of silage, one bale of hay, one bale of straw. I need a thirty-two thousand liter capacity machine. I mean, the 29,000 litre machine I can probably get away with. In some aspect, some regards. Probably going to get a screenshot of this. Is the guy's gonna stop when I get close enough to him? He's actually gonna put the brakes on. But he's programmed to stop while unloading. He is. Keep up with him now. Is he going to stop again? Right. All right. Right. Go and put it. Put this in the truck. So when we do the oat field, we're going to get some. We're going to get the option to do straw baling. So I now need to overload into the truck. Please tell me you take soybeans. You do you just got to be quite? Got to find the exact pixel where it'll unload. But this is probably the last video I'm going to record today because, like I say, if I play stream this, I've got well, about another ten minutes. Ten minutes of video, which means unfortunately. 
this contract is not going to be finished in this episode. <laughs> unless I time lapse it, of course. Unless I time lapse the the rest of this recording, which is something I could do, I suppose. I could do a time lapse.
Okay, well that's the soybean contract done, everybody. We've got a little bit extra crop, so I need to take this back to the farm. Need to get this emptied. Uh, get the auger wagon back to the farm. And then, because um, the case magnum will be put onto baling duty for doing the oats contract. And then the, the puma can do the um, bale trailing. You can pick up the bales. What I'll do <laughs> is I'll be a little bit sneaky. I'll park my truck in such a way that I can come up to it in a second with the auger wagon and empty into it. Or the truck heads obviously into the silo. Park that there. thing is this is not too far from the farm this is kind of it handy um to do but having now reached also um five hours in this single five hours of playing for i've spent the last five hours playing farm sim which is not uncommon for when i'm streaming and doing multiplayer but it's a bit excessive for recording these YouTube videos so this is the last video I'm recording today so I'm not going to get to the oat contract until the next time I record which will probably be tomorrow so I'm going to park this guy here I'll empty the soybeans first disconnect the trailer like I say start getting the uh, stuff geared up ready for the uh, for the next episode so thank you everybody for watching today's video for tuning in as always and showing your support for the series um, if you could go ahead click the like button for me that would be fantastic um, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber of the channel uh, leave your comments in the comment section below the video and uh, please remember to share the video wherever you see fit with whomever you see fit I've been Siwani, this has been the Lakeland Vale map by Stevie, and uh, we've done a contract, so uh, I look forward to doing a little, uh, another one in the next video, but for now, from me, it's goodbye. <laughs>